how are you guys all doing? Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Um, today I'm actually planning on filming. Why do I keep saying that? I'm planning on doing. <laughs> I'm planning on doing my um, GCSE exam tips and slash resources that I used. Basically, backstory here. Um, I go to a Cambridge school, so all my, all my subjects, the whole syllabus is Cambridge. Most of the resources I am going to say are centered towards like the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. So maybe if you're doing like AQA or X, Excel or whatever, some of these might not be as useful, but they could still be useful. I don't know. You'll just have to watch the video and see. Some of them can also be a little useful for like A-levels, just general tips. But apart from that, most of it is like IGCSE Cambridge because... I remember when I was like beginning, because I finished now. Oh, yeah, I should have to say that. I finished my um, IGs. I've just got one exam left, but it's like, I got it. <laughs> I got it. It's in the bag. I've got it. Okay. So I've been looking all over the web. <laughs> okay. Every corner of the interweb, web, world wide web. Okay. Looking for these. Okay. These are just some of, uh, some of them, because I can't remember all of them when I was trying to plan this video. I couldn't remember all of them. So these are the ones that I did manage to remember and I'm just going to hop into the video now because I feel like I'm just blabbering on and on. So let me go. First one, this is for everyone really. Um, it's quite a known website, it's called Exam Solutions. It's a math website and then it's run by this guy who basically just does math tutorials. It's really cool. It works for GCSE and for A-levels regardless of your exam board. Um, I found it really useful, especially like when the exams are coming closer and you know the things that you learn all the way back at the beginning of the year and you can't really remember them. That website is a great place to jog your memory. So that's my first tip. So I'd highly recommend it, although most people already know about the website, so that was just to get that one out of the way. <laughs> then my next one is Educator. This one I didn't really use as much, but I think it could still be useful to some people. It does pre-calculus, which is basically... GCSE and then calculus which is like a level and it's like an American website so I don't know how useful it would be but my tutor highly recommended it for me he even like downloaded the videos and gave it to me so I, I did have a look the videos are quite long they're like half an hour but the guy he explains it really well and if you're seriously struggling with something and you can't look anywhere else I recommend you go to educator because that's a pretty good site so yeah number three past papers okay Past papers, everyone says this, everyone says do past papers, do past papers, and I am just going to be one of those other people. I am a strong advocate for past papers. If it's maths, I'll print out the past paper, but like for other subjects, such as like maybe English, where you just really need to, the question, you don't have to print out the past paper. But I'm lucky, because my school actually like sell the past paper in packs, so you can just like go buy the past paper packs, and you can just like work your way through them and everything. So, they basically, oh shit, okay. <laughs> They basically like, um, you, you can just buy the past papers, so this is for economics, and it's just got all the questions in. As you can see, I didn't really use my past paper pack that much. But I did use it a little bit, guys, okay? You must believe me. So what I do is, I do the past paper, get the mock scheme, then mock your past paper. And I mean mock it, okay? Be like the actual examiner. Don't think, mm, I'm not sure if this is a mock or not, I'll just give myself the mock anyways. No. Be so strict with yourself when you're marking your own past papers. Even get like your teachers or your friends or whatever to do it for you. Because that would be even better. But what I did is I marked my own past papers but I was so super strict with it. Because it's better to underestimate yourself than overestimate yourself. Do you know what I mean? Because like if you give yourself a higher mark than you deserved, it's like it doesn't really benefit you. But if you give yourself a low mark but really you deserved a higher mark, then it's still it's pretty chill, do you know what I mean? And then after you've done your past paper, if you're not sure about a topic or while you're doing your past paper, you can just go um, research a topic real quick and then answer the question anyways. Once you've marked your past paper and you've got your mark, go to your grain boundaries for that paper, that specific paper, because they change every paper, every paper every year. So go to the grade boundaries and see what you would have gotten. And then, like, just keep on doing that. Just keep doing that all the time. And if you find that maybe you struggled with that specific past paper, you didn't get what you wanted, go to the examiner reports for that paper and then look at what they had to say because the examiner reports are really useful. I mean, for Cambridge, I did struggle to find some, but I, I did manage to find some. If you just keep, like, looking and scrolling down Google, you'll eventually find some somewhere. Okay, so my next tip is, or resource, should I say, is this Facebook page. I came across this. At like 3 a.m. in the morning, I was literally in the middle of a breakdown because of maths. 
and I was just like, oh my gosh, it's gonna happen. My math exam was in a week. I didn't know what I was gonna do. And I came across this Facebook page and I was literally like praising God, okay? The Facebook page is called To Ace Your A Stars IGCSEs and it's really cool. I specifically used it for maths and a little bit of biology. They have maths, biology, chemistry, physics, and English, if, yeah, English. Uh, it does take a while to like find the right things, but that website, no, that Facebook page did help me with quite a few things. You kind of just scroll down it, and then like you kind of just pick what you want. They have really cool things. You can just like check it out for yourself. I'll link it down below. It really helped me. And it did help me find this another website, which is the next of my resources for you guys. So this website, it's, I don't know what it's called, but um, it's for IGCSEs once again, so Cambridge. Um, basically, it's got like, I used it for maths ma ma mainly, and you can get like these past paper packs, but it's like classified past papers. So for example, if you're struggling with vectors, you can go there and they'll ha there'll be like a vectors classified past paper. So it's got every single question that's ever been in a, po in a Cambridge po IG past paper on vectors from 2002 to 2011 I think and it's all just there and they're really cool so I printed a bunch out and I used them this one was for vectors and matrices it was really cool 2002 to 2011 and I got it from that website it's really it was pretty sick and you it's just got like all the questions that have ever been there regarding those specific topics that um that the classification is on so you can just like look through answer the questions it's really useful it helped me get understand some of the questions and you know what Cambridge do this thing where they kind of repeat everything so in, especially in maths they'll have the same structure of questions just like different figures so if you can know how to, how is the steps to answer a certain question then you're pretty sorted for your math exam really then this one was also for algebra do it do algebra okay because algebra is like basically the whole of maths I'm not gonna lie okay Algebra is everywhere. You can find algebra in vectors, you can find algebra in statistics, you can find algebra in anything, do you know what I mean? It's just so useful. And like, there's these questions, oh my gosh, these six mark questions that, oh, this is actually it, these six mark questions, they used to, I didn't understand them, I'd go through past paper packs and I'd be like, what? But after doing this, it seriously saved my ass. It saved me. And it probably even got me some extra marks, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so my next one that um, I have is the student room. Now, you guys probably already know this website, especially if you're watching this, it means that you probably have already come across the website. The student room is basically like this on online forum where you can talk to other students, ask questions, You can they can help you, you can help them, you can discuss, debate, it's really cool. I spend probably a little bit too much time on that, <laughs> but I do like it, so I do recommend you guys go check that out. Make an account, even if you don't like talk or anything, it's really interesting to read through. It doesn't necessarily help you with anything unless you need academic help, but you can just talk to other people, ask questions, read other people's questions, you know, some of these people, the things that they put on there. Anyways, <laughs> find out what type of learner you are. This is very useful, okay? Because it kind of helps you to know the best ways that you can like absorb information into your head. That's just how I look at it. So I did, um, I don't know how I found out, but I just did like quizzes and stuff like that. Found the average, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> and I found out I'm like mostly visual learner, but sometimes I'm kin, what's it called, kinesthetic? Sometimes I'm a little bit of a kinesthetic learner. So I tried to find out the best study methods for those types of learners. And if you're a visual learner like I am, then I highly recommend use flashcards, which is my next point. Um, I used a bunch of flashcards, like I made bare flashcards. I think I'll even maybe insert something here, I don't know. But I did use a lot of flashcards like all the time. And uh, I used Quizlet. I know there's other, there's other um, like platforms that you can use to make your flashcards, but I just like Quizlet the most. If you are gonna make flashcards, just don't you just always read them because like that I, that didn't work for me for some reason so what I tended to do was I'd like give my parents or give my friends at school the flashcards and then they'll just like ask me the questions and then I'll reply back to them. Make a study plan. Now I've tried various ways of making a study plan and I only found one way that worked for me. Like I made study plans which is just like okay wake up at 8 from 8 till 9 study maths from 8 till from 9 till 10 have a break from 10 till 11 study English you know what I mean. 
and those didn't really work for me because I found that I'd like I'd get really bored and I and I just didn't enjoy it. So there was one way that finally worked for me after like three months of trying to work on those types of study plans. This is kind of like what I made. I'm so sorry, my camera just decided to cut. I think I was talking about my study um, guide thing. So this is basically the binder where I kept all my study stuff, everything that's like study-wise inside. <laughs> um, so the first page I had my study plan. I think I'll go into more depth when I haven't got like the camera in my hand or something. Okay, so without boring you guys too much, this is basically the in-depth of it. So here I'd put all my subjects that I had to revise for and I'd done them color coordinated. And then here is basically what I what I did. So please ignore all the crossed out parts. That's like when the days have gone by. So here I put the days of the week and this is like all the weeks starting from April till like June. I started studying really late guys by the way, <laughs> just in case you guys didn't notice. The X's here, like these X's, they represent exams. So that's like when I had exams and stuff. So this, I had a business study exam that Monday. Then the next Monday I had another business study exam. And then PP represents when I was going to do past papers. And the colors just represent what I'm going to study for that day. So obviously for this Wednesday, I decided I was going to do accounting the whole of that day. So it didn't matter like what time I started or what, as long as I was, I'd done some accounting during that day. And I found that this is like a more free way of doing a study timetable because I don't, I'm not limited and it's not like every hour of my day is planned. I could study when I felt like it. As long as I did get the work done, that's all that mattered really. And, I, and it managed to help me be even more productive than the other versions of ways of doing it. So this is basically how I did it. It looks really nice before I started scribbling the days out. <laughs> I promise you. But yeah, I've got like the study. This was my study plan here. And then, this is another thing I recommend you guys do. Uh, I got like a revision checklist of all my subjects. So this was everything for accounting. This was for English, maths. Then I got biology, which you can see I managed to cover some ground in biology. And then I had business studies and economics too. Then I just kept plain paper here. And I printed out the syllabus, which is something I do recommend you do as well. Printing out the syllabus will literally save your life. So I think in other examples called specification just in case so here I've done accounting and I kind of use this to like help me know what I was supposed to know for each subject so this was accounting it was really long some of the specifications are a bit too long so you don't have to print everything out like I didn't print out biology because biology was like I think it was like 21 pages of just pure specification so I was like no nah. some of them I just kept on my laptop you, you don't have to print them out but like even just so you have them somewhere so you can look back at your specification constantly. I wish I had actually done this earlier in the year, but you do this and it's really useful. Biology was so helpful for me because you know how biology is, you need to know and the specification slash syllabus literally tells you everything you need to know that's going to be on that exam. Okay, so my next one is actually not on the list, but I've got it right here. I don't know about other exam boards, but Cambridge, they have these things called the learner guides and I know that they have it for economics and for English, which is this one, and then they've got it for biology as well, so do get that. They kind of just tell you, break down the questions within like exams. So like, you know how like English is like two, in paper two I think, then there's like three questions, and there's like the summarizer question, then there's a the long question, because English is quite like um, a written subject. So they kind of break down how the questions are going to be like, so question two, they don't tell you like what the examiner is really looking for and stuff like that, it can be really useful. And it's kind of like a cheat sheet sheet basically because it just gives you almost the answers, like the silhouette of the answers. So just get these and like use them as well. And I recommend you guys get these books. These books have been a lifesaver, okay? Now, I don't know how many subjects they have for. These are endorsed by Cambridge as well, so they're like the actual syllabus too. I got one for, um, this is for English I think, yeah. I've got English here. Yeah. And then this is my... Chemistry and Physics. There's, I've also got one for Biology, but I can't find that one right now. Uh, these are really cool. They kind of, like, tell you... It's kind of like... Because my... Um, okay, hold on. Let me just show you guys here. Okay, so my school uses these books, which, for, like, all the sciences, even my Chemistry and Biology books are basically just like this. And you can see they're really big, really bulky. And there's just, like... A, 
ton of text. It can almost be a little scary because it's just like text after text. So this is basically, it's basically the textbook, but minimized and made thinner and smaller. And it's only got the key points. And then the like, it even tells you what's really core and what's extended, which I think is really useful. These are kind of just overall general tips here. Start early guys, please, I beg you for the life. Just start early, okay? Don't leave it until a month like I did. I left it till a month to start revision. I still managed to do it, but don't... I went to bed at like 3 a.m. for like a whole week because I was just trying to catch up with all this stuff that I should have started like way before, okay? If the later you start, the less dense your studying needs to be, okay? If you start a month before, do um, expect to have to study densely and you're going to have to do lots and lots of knots in a short amount of time. But if you start like three months before your exams, then you can like space it all out and it's like you've got more time to chill and relax. Like I had to like remove distractions. I got rid of Snapchat for a while, had to get on my Instagram, you know, had to delete Sims 4 because it was getting to that stage, guys. Like it can be a bit... A bit daunting so stress out too much and don't have breakdowns like I done I literally had a breakdown every week I'm pretty sure my family even got tired of me just crying all the time <laughs> but yeah just a little side note yeah get yourself some nice stationery a week before that exam starts I'm not talking like all this expensive stuff I'm talking simple nice minimalistic stationery okay because it'll make a difference get like those you know those nice pens with the grips those expensive ones yeah get yourself some of them just do it fam. You'll thank me later. When you're in your exam, write in you're gonna feel like a boss fam. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Okay, so I think I'm done now. I'm actually so tired. And I'm gonna just like go. Bye! Annyeong! See you later! Mwah. Mwah. Hope you enjoyed my video. Peace. How much do you weigh? <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep it real with you guys.